MVP. Uh, incredible. Um, you know, I'm speechless. Um, I didn't know. I, I didn't like. I felt like I played in Mikhail every day, uh, all three games. Um, I felt comfortable after the last two games. You know, um, my teammates did a great job finding me. And, you know, we got the job done. We really focused on details. Uh, second half of the game. Yeah, that's unbelievable feeling. You can be part of history now, even your own part on the school. On the school. So, Does it make it sweeter knowing that you know, everything you guys have been through in the last month and up to this point? Oh, yes. Like I said, it's us, I mean, it's us against the world. I mean, we're not really listening to the outsiders. You know, this team is a, it's a family, a big family. You know, everybody got a strong heart, big hearts, and you know, we have each other's back. When you first got here, it was a lot of hype. Did you expect all this Apollo being a player of the year of the conference this to be a championship? I mean, I didn't expect it. I mean, you just have to work hard. Like I said, when it comes team success, you know, individual accolades come along with that. Um, and, you know, I mean, we win it. You know, you guys, are, they decide who deserves the pack you know, or the player, the national player. Yeah, I know it's okay. Is this kind of good for you guys, knowing that, I mean, everything with Sean Miller, everything that he's been through, is this, I mean, how do you put this into words for him? Yeah, it's a little, you know, it's fuel to our fire, you know. Um, made us more closer, you know. So, you know, um, we trust each other, and, you know, this is a lot, we build a lot of relationships. I've built a lot of relationships on this team. How much has he meant to you just over the last few weeks? You know, kind of Coach Miller got really close. Um, and I've never I've really felt like, you know, what a coach really felt like for you know, especially before that Oregon game, you know, um, when he told us what was going on, like, I actually, you know, I actually felt his pain a little bit, you know, it was just, it was just crazy, you know, you know, we just played hard and trying to win for him. You had an incredible game yesterday, did this top it? Um, I'll play, yes, I think, I think I got more dunks, you know, <laughs> teammates find me with open alley-oops, and you know, dunk with aggression, you know, they're just, you no know, chance of what we're doing in the game, you know, especially Raleigh's dunk, that's the dunk of the year. You know, I think this game really top this one. This was straight domination. So you scored 32 points again. And yesterday you said you used some Selman. You got a 32 points. What, what kind I of special I ate the same meal? thing this morning. Really? <laughs> the same thing. That's called the championship meal. Yeah. yeah. There you go. The same thing. That's the ritual. Same thing. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah. awesome. On that love, did Elijah go to you? Did you guys make eye contact? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He knows how I play. You know, just throw it up there. I'm going to get it. You know, any lure, you know, that's on you, right? Like, if I tell you to throw it up high above the rim, it's my fault if I don't catch it. And he knows that. I don't throw it any lower. I don't know where I can catch that. But he knows why. We both know each other. You know, what we do is made eye contact. All my teammates know that. Once we make eye contact and you can throw it, we can have space to throw out and catch it. Were there any frustrations in the first half? Mm -hmm. No, not at all. We just we're not offensive. We just wanted stops. You know, we got tired of trading buckets. You know, we traded too much. Too many baskets. And, you know, um, we weren't really dialed in. You know, we were given a lot of open drives. And we weren't really getting that. We weren't really guarding the pick and roll at first. You know, uh, uh, I think Jordan, I don't know how many assists he got in the first half. But he really was finding his role his role guy. And, you know, he finally got a little bit of that inside now. <laughs> Uh, now getting ready for a big dance. I mean, yeah. what's, what's kind of the team's mentality going forward now? Team mentality, get back in the lab. You know, we need a day off. Three days, three, day, three games in three days is a lot, but, you know, I think we got to have the day off tomorrow. I'll be back in the lab watching film. You know, um, be patient, just get up, uh, go back in the weight room, lift some weight. You know, back to the routine after that. How crucial is it now that you guys are probably going to stay out west? Oh, it's amazing. Coach Minnesota is amazing. I don't even understand the difference, but, you know, Coach Minnesota is good to stay on the west coast, you know, because I guess the fans are still there, you know, to help us out a little bit. But, yeah. What are you most looking forward to in the NCAA tournament? I'm playing against different players, you know, seeing what else is out there, you know, different challenges. I know there's a lot more. Uh, big man that can really put the ball on the floor, more aggressive, um, you know, bigger guys, I heard. That's about it. It's the experience. Two best teams you've ever played the last couple days? I'll say on the leadership, and, you know, I really wasn't quiet. You know, this, most of, most games I played this season, I was quiet, but I was dominating. But this game, I was really talking to the older guys and telling them, picking them up, even though they was down. And they, they answered, you know, came in halftime when I talked to Alonzo, and 
Raleigh and say, yo, I mean, come on, let's go. You got this. You know, this is our game. You know, you guys have been here before. This is your turn. This is your conference. And they answered. They answered well. What did you tell them after that dunk? You ran oh, up. I was like, yo, I was like, does that mean you need to go to jail for that? <laughs> There's no way somebody should get away with that. Because you know, I, I was like, if you see my reaction on the replay, like when he dunked, I started running. I sprinted yeah. and I turned around and dude was on the floor. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, so it was, that was unbelievable. I had never seen a dunk like that. That was some 2K animation type stuff, slasher dunks. Without the fatigue, of course, right?